Good morning, friends, and happy Tuesday. Uh, today, the inspector is coming, and he will be here at 9 o'clock, so in about 30 more minutes, the inspector's to show up. And they said he's going to be here around approximately for three hours. So they also recommended that I leave and go find something to do. <sighs> <gasps> okay, so I thought about going to Target and walking around. I was going to grab lunch while I'm out. Uh, and yeah, and since today is Cinco de Mayo, I think I'm just going to go to Mexican and grab a taco. So freaking good. So I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just going to kind of waste some time. <laughs> TJ Maxx, as far as I know, is not open. I think Hobby Lobby is, because I know my friend said something the other day about Hobby Lobby being open. So I might go walk around Hobby Lobby. I'll go walk around Target, maybe. If Kirkland's is open, I'll go walk in there for a little bit. But I definitely would go to TJ Maxx if it was open or something, but, or even like Home Goods. But I, uh, I, I'm not gonna like buy anything. I don't need anything. The only thing that I said that I would probably get would be lunch today. So we shall see. Unless I come across some cute little Ray Dunn thing that's there, but I don't even think Home Goods and stuff is open right now. I don't think so. But another thing that I have to go do today is get gas for my car. So I have to get gas. I have to run around. I have to waste three hours so i'm thinking around 11 o'clock or 11 30 ish i'll probably go and grab lunch so then all i have to do is pretty much just waste you know 9 to, to 11 ish time and uh i'll drive past my house to see if he's still here but anyway, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video that I posted this morning. It was from Monday. It was yesterday's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I really wasn't going to post it today. Um, and I was just going to wait till Wednesday and stick with my like every other day of um, uploading. But because I have to be out and about today and I have to waste three hours, I thought, well, I'll just vlog what I have to do for the next three hours um, while my house is being inspected. And um, we'll hang out and then I'll post this for Wednesday and then I won't have anything up for Thursday and then I'll go to Wednesday or excuse me Friday um but yeah so the, for the most part everything is pretty much cleaned up picked up around the house obviously we wanted to make sure that the inspector had enough room to to maneuver and get stuff done that he needed to get done uh we yeah so last night I made that um, sesame chicken whatever it was I did not have the tahini sauce and I did not have scallions it is really good it is very spicy Brian did not like the chicken he just ate the noodles um, which is so weird it's like just put the chicken with it it's like chicken and pasta he just didn't like it so he didn't eat it he just ate the noodles I'm like what a weirdo but uh, we're having tacos tonight for dinner. The rest of the chicken that I, I made, I like separated it. So like I made the to sec the separate, but yeah, I'll get it straight. Um, I separated like the chicken and then just put it in a separate bowl. And then you could just add the chicken as needed in the noodle dish. So that's what I did. So I have a, I have lots of leftover chicken. So we're just going to add that to some tacos tonight and have like tahini chicken tacos. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Tahini chicken tacos. So that's what we're going to do, um, which I am perfectly fine with because of it being Cinco de Mayo. I, I don't mind having tacos for lunch and for dinner. Not at all. Um, I did start cleaning out the cabinet here. Um, this one I started cleaning out and this one over here I started cleaning out. Um, I have all of like these bowls and stuff down. Um, I have all of this glassware down. I emptied my sink that way the guy has a nice clean sink to work with if he needs to. Everything that's dirty is in the dishwasher now. I did pull out all of my, well not all, um, most of our like cups and stuff. These are like Brian's beer glasses and stuff. So I pulled those out. I'm going to wrap those and put those away. Hopefully this afternoon is going to be that. These bowls I took out and these ones I took out and then all of my tiered trays that I have, I took those out as well and some mugs. So I am, I am plugging right along here with emptying out cabinets and stuff. So I got all my recipe books out too. So I have those sitting over there. 
So yeah, just kind of plugging right along, trying to get stuff done. I told Brian that this week's goal was to have the kitchen done, semi-done, if possible. Um, but of course today being that I have to be gone for three hours, that's taking away from some of my packing hours. And on Thursday, when I go to get my hair done, that's gonna take um, you know a couple of hours away from me packing. So yeah, one month from today, guys, we close on the houses, this one and the one in Huntsville, and one month from today, we'll be moved into our new house, fingers crossed. Yesterday, um, when Brian got home from work, <clears throat> I went ahead and called the moving company and they will be here on June 4th to pack everything up and then they're meeting us in Huntsville on the 5th. I contacted my realtor in Huntsville and asked her if she could send me uh, you know, a list of places that I need to call to get everything uh, turned on. I'm actually gonna be calling Xfinity today and see if they can get everything transferred over to that house, say like they need to come over on the 6th, which is the Saturday, hopefully they can. Um, or it's gonna be a very long weekend without TV, without internet, ooh. But Brian has to have internet by like Monday because he has to work, so. Anyhow, so we're gonna get that stuff done. And yeah, other than that, that's about it. I did bring some of my stuff out from the pantry. So um, I brought out all of my like placemats, which I'm gonna end up going through all of those when I get back to my, when I get to the new house. So those two totes down there have like placemats and tablecloths in there, which I'll probably end up getting rid of the tablecloths, I think because um, I really don't need them or use them. And then I have my um, smokeless grill up there and my air fryer up there. So I brought that stuff out last night and just trying to, this is part of like the kitchen, cleaning the kitchen and stuff up. So yeah, just that's what we're doing. So I am getting ready to, I'm gonna get my jewelry on, my watch on, and then I'm gonna leave here in about 30, well, less than 30, 25 minutes I'm gonna leave um, right before the guy gets here that way I'm gone and I'm not in his way so cross your fingers I'm sure everything is gonna be fine with the inspection we have the roof is only seven years old the hot water heater is less than a year old the AC is a year old so everything should be pretty good so we're all good we're all good one next hurdle hopefully over with oh and I have a band-aid on my finger um, I have uh, because my nails hadn't been done for so long, remember I told you that it kept peeling and it was bleeding or whatever? Well, now it's kind of like, um, it's irritated and I think it might be infected. So I've been um, cleaning it out, putting peroxide on it, which I just did a few minutes ago, and then letting it dry with the peroxide on it and then putting some Neosporin on it so it can heal. But I have a Band-Aid on it because I keep, um, it keeps getting hit by things. Like, you know, when you're using your thumb, you hit everything and it makes it hurt and bleed. So I'm trying to keep it from doing that. So I have the Neosporin on it with a Band-Aid. So I'm just kind of letting it heal. I have never, ever I'll take that back I had one time but the whole many 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 years 20 plus years that I've been getting my nails done I have only had one infection one time and I think it was because the same thing like I had a hangnail and then it just kind of got infected and then it was just a mess and this is like the second time so I'll wait to see and if it starts getting like puffy then I'll um, take care of it Kind of gross, I know, TMI for some people, but whatever. Uh, yeah, but that's it. So yeah, let's hang, let's hang out today and Tuesday and let's go see if we can find things to do. Um, I thought about going to the park and walking around, but I don't know, we shall see. I'm, I'm, I'm betting for just like walking around Target, Hobby Lobby, grabbing lunch and coming home. So those would be my goals. We'll I just have to see how long it all takes. So let's, Let's hang out. All right, so they were early. They just showed up, so, and they knocked on the door, and I answered it, and I'm like, ah, you're early. <laughs> um, obviously, it was not a big deal. Uh, I'm like, just, you guys didn't park in my way, did you? I'm like, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of your way and leave, and I'm like, oh, no, we're good. I'm like, okay, great, so they didn't park in my way. Perfect, so I was able to be able to back out of my driveway, no problems whatsoever. So, basically, what I'm gonna go do right now is I'm gonna get gas, 
and I'm probably gonna go ahead and get a coffee and then I am going to I mean, when I say coffee I mean Starbucks you guys <laughs> and then I'm gonna get my car washed and vacuum it out ah, I'm so excited to be able to vacuum my car out today I got the vacuums up and running I will be putting a glove on though so no worries there all right so let's uh let's start my three hour three hour tour that's where I'm going three hour tour Another thing that I'm gonna to add to my list of things to go do today is I'm gonna go run to the, my P.O. box, which is at the post office, and um, cancel that. So no more mail. I am canceling my P.O. box for now until further notice. Uh, <clears throat> and I don't know if I'm gonna get another one in Huntsville, it just depends. I'll have to wait and see. Um, I have to see if it's like worth me paying for anymore, because I mean, I, you know, I get a couple of cards, which is great, and I'm so thankful for that, and I totally appreciate that. But, I mean, I may go ahead and do it, like, towards Christmas. I'm not sure. So we can do Christmas cards exchanges. But um, as of right now, I think I'm just going to go ahead and cancel it. And then I need to get a form to fill out for um, change of address. So that's another thing I'm going to add to my list. So, good. I'm making things happen, getting things checked off my list, and I'm going to be wasting three hours of time. So that's a good thing. All righty. So I got my... Starbucks and I'm going in the club ladies let's check out the guys around let's see if anybody is hot today anybody want to pick up some chicks and buy me some drinks because we're going to the club girl you should wear a name tag You should wear a name tag, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, let's go. Summer's gone, I'm latching on. Don't even know your name, but you're still in my head. Alrighty, so I went to the post office, I got the paperwork to transfer addresses, and I got the paperwork to cancel my P.O. box. Why do I have to fill out like a whole like application to like cancel my P.O. box? I didn't have to fill out an application to start it. I just said, can I start a P.O. box? Here's my card. Charge me. Um, so now I have to fill like this whole application to like just cancel my P.O. box. It's so bizarre. But anyway, I'm in Hobby Lobby. They are open. So let's go in and just walk around, see what we can find. Let's waste some time. It's already, it's only 9.22. <laughs> <sighs> it's only 9.22. So they have all their 4th of July stuff out, which is good. That's fun. Cute stuff. I don't know if I'll even get any of my stuff out yet because... <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. What? What? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Only just $20 for that. What? Is it 50% off? No. No, it's not. But I do have a 40% coupon. Oh my god, that is the cutest. Absolute love that. Wow. Hmm. I love that thing. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. They still have quite a bit of Easter decor, but everything is 80% off. So that's a good deal so if your Hobby Lobby's open you guys can come and get 80% off of any of your Easter stuff all of this stuff too they have like this this whole aisle is full of Easter obviously because nobody was able to come get anything so they have a bunch of it left so I think this one would be so cool for Brian's new office it's $149 with 50% off. I'll have to show that to him and see what he thinks. But I think that one would look cool in his office. Ooh, and I know he'd love this too. This down here, he would love to have that map in his office. He's got a lot of cool options here for him to put in his office. He'll love that. Because I'm gonna do like the navy blues in that living room, I think this is really pretty. 
and I love this. So like I could do like a small like collage on a wall and hang something like this on there. This is so pretty, $17.99. And this, that would be so pretty together. And I don't even mind that actually. It's kind of pretty. I love the rug. Let's look at this pillow. See what this pillow says. Blessed. Very cute. I like it. I like it. Oh, this is pretty too. I could do this on a wall too somewhere. Very pretty. Ooh, look at those satiny pillows. So very Elvis. You guys. I swear I just saw a guy that looked like the Tiger King. I had to like do a double take because I'm like, These are really pretty too. I love those. I could get like, you know, one for each side of a wall. They're $30. This is so awesome. So pretty. You guys, I'm so excited to be able to like decorate my house again with new stuff. So much fun. I really like this thing. This is $64.99. That's really cute. But it's actually 50% off. <gasps> you guys. I love this fluff and fold for the laundry room. How cute is that? I don't know how much it is. Let's see. It is $49.99 with 50% off. So $25. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I know there's a Hobby Lobby where I'm moving to, so I can go get this stuff there. But oh my god, I love that. What do you guys think of that? That is so cute. This is a great rug. Oh my goodness, I love that. That is one that I would put in the living room, I think. Maybe the kitchen where the where the new kitchen table is going to go, but I like that. I'm also looking for one for outside too for the patio. So those are nice. These are also 50% off. I wonder how long their 50% off is going to last cuz mama like that one. I do. Hmm, it's navy blue too. Even though it looks dirty right there, it's got like a spot of dirt right there. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. They have all their rugs too. 50% off. I am not into like the Aztec look, but this is kind of pretty. I mean, is this more Aztec? I don't know. That's so pretty though with the blues and the pinks and the beiges, as is this one. That's really pretty too. So is that one. Pretty. And this one. So pretty. Very, very pretty. Pretty, pretty. This section is kind of what I was looking for because obviously that upstairs is going to be our uh, movie theater area. And obviously we're going to need a lot of stuff to decorate up there and look at movie night enjoy the show look who that little guy is right there mickey i love all of this stuff oh this one's cool it is um one of those like weird can you see it changes oh how neat i love that and i love that and i love this i just wish it would um light up because that would be kind of fun to have it light up and have that hanging at the top of the stairs General audiences, all admitted, PG. Oh, that's so fun. This is fun. Oh, those are awesome. I like those. Very cute. Popcorn, I love these. Those are definitely going in there. Most definitely. All right, well that, and everything's 50% off. That's awesome though. I knew they had a little section here. I just couldn't find it. So now I'm glad that I did. That's awesome. Yay. Alrighty, I just wanted, wanted to update you guys a little bit on the Hobby Lobby situation as far as like the COVID, you know, safety precautions and all that stuff go. You can only go in one way into the store and then um, when you check out, you go to the other, the other exit or entrance. So it's only a one way in, one way out type of situation which is good and they have everything like spaced apart. There's signs everywhere that says, you know, um, 
please keep um, you know social distancing six feet apart blah 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 and no groups of ten or more and all that good stuff and after he, I was done with my cart and I checked out um, the management grabbed my cart from me you know nicely of course took it from me and completely sanitized it and wiped it all down so I think everybody's kind of taken this serious and um, they're taking all the steps uh, necessary to keep everybody protected which is a, a good thing so I'm happy about that um, I did get a few things I will show you guys once I get home what I got it's only 10 o'clock so I tried spending as much time in there as I possibly could uh, without looking like a strange person just roaming the aisles but there's a couple of other women in there too just kind of roaming around and they actually said I am so happy for this place to be open I needed to get out of the house I needed to walk around I don't even care if I'm not even buying anything I just want to get out and walk around that's, that's exactly kind of like what I said of course I didn't go into like my house is being inspected right now all that good stuff um and one lady said, I just wish TJ Maxx would open. I'm like, I am here with you on that one. I'm like, I want TJ Maxx to open as well. But anyway, alrighty. So, on to my next task. I don't know if I want to drive all the way out to the Target. Oh my gosh, I have one hour before I can like go eat lunch. Eh, crap. <laughs> alrighty, so I just drove past the house to see if they were still there. And they are. They were actually testing the garage door as I was driving by because it went up and then went down and then went back up again and down again. So anyway, they were testing that out. And um, so since they're still there, I am going to just head on out to Target. I got to pee anyway, so I'll just go to the bathroom at Target and <clears throat> walk around there for a little bit. There is a Mexican restaurant <clears throat> right by Target. And um, if they're open like at 11 o'clock, because it's only 10.15, only 10.15, um, I will eat there if I can eat outside. Because I know they have a patio, and I'm assuming that they're going to have that patio open for eating outdoors. So that is what I would like to do. So um, I can only cross my fingers and hope that that happens. So yeah, I guess we'll go walk around Target for a little bit and check things out there. Um, Let's see what they have available as far as like, you know, home decor and stuff like that. Obviously, I'm not buying anything yet because I don't want to have to move anything. So once I get to Huntsville, that's when the fun will begin because then we can go shopping, furniture shopping and um, stuff like that. So and more than likely, if I decide not to use some of my home decor and I have to get more, more different stuff to replace it, then um, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so I'm here at Target. Let's check the paper supply. Oh, they have some paper towels. That's a good sign. I don't need any. Kleenexes, plenty of. Oh, we're turning the tables. Whoa, still no toilet paper. What in the world? Still no toilet paper. Hmm. Even all of this stuff is gone. All the cleaning supplies and stuff. All of it. Which I don't know why nobody wants to use magic eraser. Those things are amazing. This is stainless steel wipes. Kind of needed that for... I think I have some at home though. I'm going to wait. Oh, that's a glass, glass top pad. That's nice. Huh. Hearth and Hand has some very nice rugs too. Like I like that one. That would be like obviously in the, oh please don't fall, please don't fall. <laughs> like oh no, I like those though. I don't really see a price, oh yeah they are, 149 So those are about the same price as the ones at Target, oh, excuse me, at Hobby Lobby except these ones are not on sale. Interesting. Let's go down here and see. Oh yeah, you know what else I wanted to get? Um, somebody, I don't see him here yet. Um, a friend of mine who watches this um, video, she does houses and she um, puts stuff like that around her house. So I, one of them says like bathroom or something like that. Restroom, they're cute, love them. Okay, all this stuff is so pretty. Okay, you guys see how this is most like that not navy blue, but blue color. That is such a pretty color. I love that. 
are these for? Oh, these are candles. I'm gonna go smell good. I love it. It says lemon, poppy, fig, gardenia. Oh, that's pretty. Very nice. I love these throws that says sweater knit blanket. These are so pretty. And I love this one too because it's kind of got like that gray color in it which would look so pretty like on a navy blue chair. <laughs> As would this one here. Oh, these are so pretty. I love all of them. I mean, they're so soft. This is a cotton blanket. Oh, I love these. So pretty. These ones are so soft too. These ones are the softest ones. Soft, soft, soft. So pretty. So pretty. All of these um, little wreaths, these are hearth and hand wreaths. These right here. They were regular $24.99, they're 50% off, and the clearance price says $12.48, right there. So all of these for $12.48, those are cute. Like, I like those. I could put two of them on the front door of that house, and that would look so pretty. There's a bunch of them too. So instead of putting all like a bunch of stuff on top of my cabinets like I had before, this little kid just keeps screaming. Um, I'm thinking about just putting baskets on there. What do you guys think? Hmm. Alrighty guys, so once again, it is lunchtime chit chat with Angie. Um, the inspectors are gone. They've been gone probably about, I don't know, 45 minutes now. And I actually came home a little bit early because I had to go to the bathroom. And I'm like, and I didn't mean like pee either. I had to go to the bathroom. So I'm like, I don't care if they're still here. I have got to go. And then um, I just went to pick up some lunch. And because it is Cinco de Mayo, I am going to have tacos. Even though I know we're going to have tacos for tonight. But who cares, right? Because look at that. Taco time. It's Taco Tuesday. Cinco de Mayo. I am not going to have Diablos for long. This place is so good. This is like the new restaurant that opened up here in town. It's really good. And I got like queso. Oh my god, queso is so good. So basically, um, well, when I went to the post office earlier, I ran into the girl who's buying the house. So now I know her. I see her and I say hi. <laughs> like, hey, Brandy. So um, she was here also with the inspectors when I got here earlier. And because I'm nosy, I went to my bathroom. Now my bathroom, my master bathroom is connected to my kitchen. I put my ear up against the wall in the kitchen just to hear if they were saying anything. Like if anything bad. No. Um, so after she left though, the inspectors, I was like, so what are the damages? You know, are you guys want to tell me anything? And they're like, well, that um, they said something about the dish that's on the side of the house. Um, it's causing some damage. So basically, from what I gather, and unless I don't care, um, we need to take that down and fix the damage, which is fine. Um, and also my pretty wisteria that's around the stairs over there. Yeah, if they want that down, that has to go. Only if they ask, though. That's because wisteria is so invasive, it will literally pull stuff down. Like if I let it wrap around my house, it would really, it would like wrap around my entire house. And that's not good. Can't have that. So, not good. Look at these tacos. Tacos. Mm. So I got chicken, pinto beans, and cheese. So good. So basically, if they want us to, we have to cut down the wisteria. Which is fine. I love my wisteria. But, not going to be here. So it doesn't make a big difference if I like it or not, right? But wisteria is such a beautiful plant, but it binds. We'll go look at it when I'm done here. It's just so pretty, but it, the vines, I mean, they get like huge and they go pull like anything down, like a whole deck. 
and I have it wrapped around the stairs over there. That's a no-no. My mother-in-law told me that. She's like, I had to pull everything down. You know. Whatever. It is what it is. So, if we have to fix something, we do. However, I hope it's not expensive because uh, that ain't gonna happen. I mean, I'm leaving her my $1,500 fridge. So, guess what? Things ain't gonna happen if it's expensive. But I'm assuming that would be expensive. I don't know. But anyway, so somebody asked me a question earlier on my comments. They asked, um, how far will I be away from Disney? And I will probably be about 10 hours away from Disney, where I am right now only 7. So basically, I don't think I will drive because that's 10 hours. More than likely, I will fly into Orlando and rent a car because I, I have to have a car. I don't do the Disney transportation stuff. Unless, well, no, because I still have to have my car. I was gonna say, unless, if Sandy and Suzanne are watching, I just drive down to Picola and we all ride together. Ladies, hello. No, I like to have my own car because I don't like the tra I don't like getting on the buses and going from like resort to resort because if I have to take a poop, I can't, like, I, it won't happen on a, so I can't like go on a, a Disney bus and it go to like resort, resort, resort to drop people off because I will poop my pants. True story. It has happened. Not good a lot. So I'm dealing with a lady right now. The same lady I told you guys about yesterday, I think, about my... Oh, did I tell you guys that? So I've been dealing with a lady since over the weekend regarding my... Um, Butcher Block Island. Uh, yesterday, you know, she said she wanted, she wanted to come see it sometime. And so I messaged her and I said, you know, when's a good time for you to come see this? And she's like, could you please not check this out? Now, we had already sent, um, dimensions and everything like that to her, the size of everything. And I told her it's like two point, two, two by two, you know, two foot by two foot. And it was like 34 inches tall or something like that. And so I already sent all that stuff to her the other day when we first started talking. So yesterday she messages me back and she says, could you take a picture with a measuring tape on top of it and send it to me? So I did. And then she wanted more pictures. Like how many more pictures do you need of a butcher block? So the butcher block and I decided to have a photo shoot. And so I went around, took pictures of it high, took pictures of it low, took side pictures. I mean, what else do you want? And then after that, after I sent all that stuff, she never responded. It's like, oh my God. annoying I think I'm done with selling things if this does not sell I don't know I guess we bring it with us and I'll give it to my niece speaking of which did I tell you that my niece Courtney the one with the baby Parker that she and her husband bought a house in Ardmore, Alabama, which is about 50 minutes from where I'm going to be. Isn't that the coolest thing? I'm super excited about that. 
She's gonna be up north of us though. We're gonna be like way south. So 50 minutes. But 50 minutes apart. I love that. And I'm gonna be about an hour and 20 minutes from my mom and dad. Which I can handle an hour and 20 minutes because it's an hour and 20 minutes on a back road. And it's an hour and 20 minutes with no traffic. So I am okay with that. Mmm. You know, somebody didn't know that those um, killer hornet bees or whatever they're calling them, um, they said they could kill a human. Like their sting, uh, their little stinger actually can penetrate through a bee suit. Like who in the hell created that damn thing? It's like what game of Jumanji are we in right now? We are on level four right now. Level four of Jumanji. They've released our Hunger Games. They've released the killer bees. And there's a boom of the cannon. Did you hear that? Now, if you guys don't understand my reference, the boom of the cannon is from Hunger Games, as is release the killer bees. Why don't you just call them tracker jackers? Again. Another Hunger Games reference. So I'm waiting for that lady to contact me. I highly doubt she does. I think she's just pulling my leg. Like the dead dog people. Please people, don't think that I don't have any sympathy or empathy for anybody who loses a pet. Trust me, I'm, I lost my, three of my cats several years ago. And that was devastating to me, absolutely devastating. But I would not use a dead animal or lie about my pet. They didn't lose an animal. Their pet didn't die. Sorry. No sympathy here for somebody who lies. So. And by the way, when I went to Target, um, TJ Maxx is in the same plaza as is Kirkland's, and they were not open. Neither was Home Goods or Ulta, from what I saw. But I do know TJ Maxx is not open, which is bizarre. I mean. If we have to wear, uh, you know, people have to wear masks, you can choose to wear one if you want to. You don't have to be, unless it's mandatory. It's not mandatory here. So I haven't really been wearing them. Like, I didn't wear it inside of Hobby Lobby. I didn't wear it inside Target. Some do, some don't. I think that if it was mandatory for us to do that, I probably would limit my time going anywhere. That it's gonna be out in public that I'd have to wear one. Because I don't wanna wear one. I can't breathe and I'm sorry. And I start sweating. It's just not fun. Not gonna happen. You know, this is so good. They're chicken and I love pinto beans. So, so good. And their chicken is so good too. Mm-mm-mm. It's another beautiful day outside. Another beautiful day. I think it's going to rain though. They said, yeah, see it's starting to get cloudy out here. So it's going to rain. It's just a matter of when. I need to probably hurry up. Oh, it's going to start raining while I'm out here. 
But I did want to show you guys that um, wisteria and the dish that's on the side of the house. Mm. My umbrella is a blowing. The storm is coming in. If you guys see lightning behind me, let me know. Oh man. I have a dirty joke. My husband would say that's sexy. Okay. All right, wind. I get your point. It's going to rain. Alrighty, so I know it's going to be windy. You guys probably won't be able to hear me, so please don't complain for those that like to complain. Um, <clears throat> my wisteria. Oh, here's the dish. Oh, yeah. It's all, like, sunk in right there. Ah, uh, yes, I see that. It's all sunk in. Yeah, that's going to need to be fixed. That's a problem. And then, of course, then my wisteria, which is right here, <clears throat> which invades the space see how big the roots and stuff get and it's all like up there so that's probably something that they're gonna ask to have removed or to be removed and if that's the case then we'll do it not a big deal not a problem we will do it but yeah that never even never even paid attention to that or even like noticed that it was there but anyway alrighty so now it's time to go in the house try to get some more stuff done Let's see here. Thanks for joining me for lunch. Alrighty, so as promised, I pulled my hair up. I have a little top bun going on. So as promised, I will show you guys what I picked up at Hobby Lobby and the stuff that I picked up at Target. Now, I'm kind of excited about the stuff that, oh, you know what? My battery's dying. Hold on. Alrighty, so this is one of the things that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. This was a 50% off of $8.99. And I just thought it was such a pretty vase because I really would like to add some of this color into the living room as well with the ivory couch and the navy blues. So I thought that was kind of pretty. Um, and then this was uh, one of their Easter clearance things. There was only one left and I just thought that was so cute. It's just a cute little like dish, candy dish. Or I could set it up like this propped up on something maybe inside of one of my tiered trays. But this was $8. 80% off of $5.99 so I thought that was definitely worth it and he's super cute and then I got this timer because I really need a timer because I um I always either burn something but I needed a timer and I just thought this timer was super super cute it was um $14.99 and it was also 50 50% off so I picked this up and I thought it was super cute I love the color of it isn't that the cutest and then at Target I picked up four more of these cups because I'm really loving the pink ones I picked up this new water bottle because mine is pretty much getting to be shot um, it's just yucky. Uh, and then I picked up two more of these bowls and then I picked up four plates, the blue and the gray, um, because I'm about ready to pack up all of our glass plates and we're going to need something to eat on. So I just thought these were great. They're like 79 cents a piece. And I just thought that was so perfect for, you know, what we have to use them for. And I did get four because I know Brian's parents and stuff are going to be here with us, um, uh, in, in a couple of weeks. So they're going to be here with us on the last week that we're here in this house when the movers come and pack everything up. So they're going to be here. Uh, but yeah, other than that, that's it. I'm going to go and uh, end the vlog here. That way I can get this up and edited for you guys tomorrow. I hope that you guys have a great day. And I will see you guys on Friday. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. And we'll see you guys then. Bye. Oh, oh, oh.